Assalamu alaikum. I am Ilma, a student from India. Is there any difference between the namaz, that is salah, of a man and a woman? And any reference from hadith? Jazakallah khair. As far as the method of offering salah for a man and woman in Islam, there is no difference. Generally, all the commandments in Islam, when it is given, it's for both men and women, unless there is a specific instruction for that. Or unless there is specifically mentioned it's for male or it's for female. And the Prophet mentioned it's hadith of Bukhari. The Prophet said, pray as you see me pray. So here the hadith is very clear cut. It's both for men and women. So the prayer as far as for the man and woman is concerned, it is the same. Whether it is qiyam, ruku, sujood, whether it is standing, bowing, prostration, sitting, it is the same. There is no difference. There are a few points which is maybe associated with salah. For example, the aura for the man in salah, the minimum requirement that he should cover from navel to the knees. For the woman, the complete body should be covered except the face can be seen. And there's a hadith of beloved Prophet that the woman should wear the khimar, that is head covering. And the complete body should be covered, the only part that can be seen are the face. As far as Adhan and Akama is concerned, it is the man who gives the Adhan and Akama. The woman, since they should not raise their voice, they don't give Akama as well as the Adhan. A woman can lead the Salah if it's only of a woman gathering. If it's only a woman's congregation, she can lead the Salah. But when she leads the Salah, she does not stand ahead. She stands in the first row, in the center of the first row. Whereas if a gent is leading a congregation, he stands ahead and the first line starts behind him. Behind him. If a woman is the Imam of a woman's gathering, when she is the Imam, she stands in the center of the first line. And she stands same as the people standing in the first line. And if she decides the Quran, she should be careful that there are no Namiram who are hearing when she decides the Quran aloud, whether it's the Fajr prayer or it's the Maghrib or the Isha Salah. Uh, as far as when she goes in Ruku and Sujood, her limbs should be close to her body so that uh, she keeps close to the aura and, and uh, she maintains it. So that these are the minor things that are associated, but as far as the actions of Salah are concerned, where she keeps where she, she keeps the hand, as the man keeps left hand over the right hand, and uh, it should be on the chest, and the ruku, the sujud, everything is the same because the Prophet said, pray as you see me pray, it's Hadith of Sahih Bukhari. Hope that answers the question.